Thursday, May 3rd, no doctor's appointments because we're waiting for the VA to authorize the next round of treatments. And so, another day to get projects done. The guys are going to do as much as they can on the chicken coop. I'm going to try and measure out runs and fences for orchards and gardens. And Stacia's inside baking. We have life group tonight. That's the only thing on the calendar. So that means there will be some cleaning that needs to be done. That's true. Um, I love all the birds out here. Right now I just hear them. I don't see any of them. But even then, after the winter, it sure is nice to hear them. The project we'll get to eventually is all the debris and brush piles that were left out here. I thought, you know, when I read my books and they talked about leaving habitat piles, that this was a good idea until we found the rats and porcupines and we keep attracting moose, which we love, but not necessarily when we're trying to landscape. So, well, plant a garden. I don't think we're going to get to landscaping this year, but we're probably going to come out and burn some of these piles or um, cut them up do something with them so they're not just laying here and we get more of a sense of uh, how much space we have. I know that there's been there's some dead trees down and there's brush pile piles like I said. Well the duct tape was put on to make sure they didn't hit their head on any screws but they've discovered that they can peck at it, and it's a whole lot of fun. So I guess I'm going to have to take the duct tape off. <laughs> Once again, that'll preach. It's another incident of us doing something nice for them, and them thinking we're being terribly keeping the fun away from them. Hey, Silky. Good morning, girls. We've given up Mike trying to figure out who's who over there. I don't know which ones are Reds and which ones are Easters. And that's the one we call Brewster. <laughs> she's big. <laughs> she's always trying to get out and, and uh, jumping on things. Okay. It's now a two-person job to watch them, so I'm trying to fill up the water. And Stacia has enlisted Otosan to help her. And they seem to calm down, just if Mike gives them the... <laughs> you lie. <laughs> just... I don't know. Chicken jumps in their face, chicken poop on your face. Chicken poop on your face. Definitely time to go take another shower or something. <laughs> you guys have lost the cute little tie-dye duct tape. It's very sad. Yeah, they are like adolescent phase. They're not quite chickens. But they're getting a little bit more intimidating, I can tell you that. Look at that one's neck. And that big brown one up there, you see the one. She is... She just jumps on the others, knocks them over, knocks us over. We're going to have to tame her. Chicken obedience school, is that what you're talking about? Chicken obedience school. You get the coop done and the run done and... What's that joke? Stick them in the freezer for a few minutes. <laughs> Won't have any of that talk around here. See the little sign a friend gave me? To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. I just want to say, we really believe in tomorrow around here. Because <laughs> these little squash seeds are now making blossoms and it's still way too early to put them outside. So when they say start planting inside eight weeks early in Alaska, 
they have got to mean in a greenhouse. It is pretty amazing to me that this was all just covered with horse manure and bare dirt when we moved in last fall in August. And the grass has really come back, leading me to believe maybe we could just plant right into the horse manure over there. Look at this. It's the floor to the chicken coop. I'm not sure that they're as excited as I am about the chicken coop. There you go! Woohoo! Attaching the floor. There's the first wall going up in the chicken coop. And look at this. Yes, our chickens are going to have linoleum. Because we care. <laughs> it'll be easier to clean it out. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. This is getting exciting. So now while they're out there putting up the walls and it's freezing, we decided it's time for a tea party. Yep. <laughs> and that's very important too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's gonna keep him happy. Look at that, all those things to play with. And balance. <laughs> He says, this is way better than that chair you were trying to keep me in. I'm a big boy. I can't just lay around all day, guys. Yeah. Yeah. How'd he like his high chair? Did he? Did he eat better with it? I was just about to try. <laughs> we haven't actually tried Oh, we haven't eaten in it. We've just... I bet he loves being part of it. Meal time and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just loved it. Oh, look at me. They're going to have a good view. Best. Only the best. It'll probably make better eggs, don't you think, boys? <laughs> The sides aren't exactly square, matching it. Well, it's not all done, but it's sure getting closer. Hopefully by this weekend. Day is ending. Everybody's winding it down inside. So I thought I would just come say good night and let you see what it looks like at nine o'clock at night here in South Central Alaska. We're up to about 16 and a half hours of sunlight a day now. <laughs> <laughs>